tension to her fore rib, down her top, and into her stifle. Um, I guess in a perfect world, we'd like to see just a little more heel underneath this heifer and square her out of her hip. Uh, but a really good kind of a female that I think in this class kind of walks away with it fairly quickly. Uh, a female that I just fi think finds a nice home in second. She probably patterns uh, fairly simili similarly to our class winner and actually is probably a little better from her shoulders forward, uh, being a little longer necked and, and a little more chiseled up front. But for me, I think it comes down to the groundwork. Uh, a, a heifer I really would like to redesign the foot on, uh, but a female with lots of length of spine and I really like that neck about her just a few things I'd change at the ground. I think a female that comes to us in third that, uh, again, when you get behind her one, you really appreciate with how much dimension and curvature she opens up with uh, at the upper or the top side of her skeleton. Uh, for me, we need to clean her up in her underline, tuck that navel up a little tighter, and then give her a little more sweep and depth of body uh, to compete with these really good ones up front. A heifer that we find in fourth, a female that I think balances up as good as any in terms of the side profile. Uh, she comes out really high and elevated out of the top of her shoulder. Uh, again, we'd like to redesign her at the ground and shorten those toes up a little bit. But a really nice logical placing in this uh, final class of heifer calves. Thank you, Tyson. Placings in this class, the second split of senior Charlie Heifer's first place is CML Evita 903G from McLeod Livestock. Entry 1254 is a class winner. And entry number 1245 is second, MMM Wilma 93G for Triple M Farms of Clairsome, Alberta. Marking your show program, entry 1255 is a scratch. 1246 third, 1254 first, 1245 second, 1232 fourth, and 1272 also a scratch from this class. Our next class into ring number one, our great Charlet show will be our senior heifer calf championship. We're ready for comments in our two-year-old bull class from our Judge Colton Hamilton, class 34. Well, these three big bulls, uh, three bulls that I think are all impressive in their own right. This bull will lead off with uh, probably the stoutest of the bulls. He's definitely the stoutest footed bull, probably the stoutest bone bull. I think uh, that's maybe where he comes past our second place bull. Uh, really like the foot on this, the bull that's going to win this division. Uh, you know, he's powerful right from the ground up. Uh, he's got a lot of hip to him, like I said. He's got a lot of rib to him. If we could clean him up a little bit in terms of his sheath would be nice, but I think still a bull that we can't uh, overlook just how much natural uh, muscle and red meat is in the bull. Bullets in second, I think, probably matches the best with the first place bull. In terms of type, I think a bull that uh, I like him up through his front end. I like his head. I think he's a really good, honest bull. I think he's a bull that's got some muscle to him. Like I said, not quite as stout in terms of bone and foot as the bullet's going to lead off the class, but I think a bull I really appreciate. Bullet's in third. He's just a bull that doesn't quite maybe have as much uh, top to him, as much forerib as the two bulls that are going to lead off the class. Uh, maybe a tit flatter made, but still a bull that uh, long-spined. He's still extremely attractive, but three really strong bulls here for the senior division. Thank you, Colton. So your mature bull champion, entry 1152, that's DMM Crank 13E, owned by Miller Wilson Angus and Nelson Hershey Purebreds. Your reserve senior champion bull, Arda L. Tigre, 109E, entry 1155, exhibited by Arda Farms, that's the Davis family of Acme, and third place entry 1153, DMM Glock, exhibited by Miller Wilson Angus of Bashaw, Freeway Angus and Arda Farms of Acme. In our Charlie ring number one, we'd like to reintroduce you to Judge Hertz's contenders in our Senior Heifer Calf Championship. First place from our first class was entry 1247, McAvoy Charlet, with MVY Precious 1214G, and Miss Prairie Cove 916G was second in that class, entry 1275 for Prairie Cove Charlet. And from his second split, entry 1254, was our class winner for McLeod Charlet, CML Evita 903G, second, entry 1245, MMM Wilma 93G. Judge Hertz would like to make some comments on his senior heifer championship. 
I think a smaller division just in terms of numbers and uh, a little tougher to follow the type and kind that I really like when you have a, a few smaller classes and, and somewhere you just quickly sort the, the ones up that you like and the ones down that you don't. Um, I, I just want to just talk about the two class winners because they'll end up being your division champions. Uh, I just prefer the length and the stretch in, in the, the class winner that we started with. She'll be your division champion. And then the young lady's a really stout heifer. Uh, she's going to be your reserve division, but just a little more stretch in that first class winner. And so, Judge Hertz, congratulations to our senior heifer calf champion, entry number 1247, MVY Precious 14G from McAvoy Charlet, and our reserve senior heifer calf champion, entry number 1254, CML Evita 903G from McLeod Charlet. That wraps up our Charlet heifer calves, and we move now into two splits of Charlet yearling heifers. But excitement abounds over in ring number two, Tracy. It sure does, Rob. And so I would like to call upon our champions of the world just to make their way to the ring. We are going to reintroduce, though, first all of our division champions. They've earned it. They deserve it. And man, oh, man, we're going to do it. Our summer bull calf division champion, entry 1107 from Northline Farms of Ardrossan. They have NLF, Miss Gr Mr. Green Ninja. From your spring division, champion entry 1108, that's Merritt Sam Elliott, 9144G from Merritt Cattle Company of Radville. Your reserve spring champion, entry 1114, MWC Get Her Done, 15G from MWC Investments of Darwell. We skip into the intermediate bull calf division. Your champion was entry 1116, Boss Lake Bonafides, 929G, exhibited by Boss Lake Genetics of Parkland County with First Class Marketing and White Rock Ranch. Your reserve intermediate bull calf champion, entry 1041, Greenwood Game Night, JJP 2074G, exhibited by the Greenwood Crew at Lloyd Minster. In your senior bull calf division, your champion was DMM Maximus 18G as entry 1130 exhibited by Miller Wilson Angus and Little Willow Creek Ranch of Bashaw. Your reserve senior bull calf champion, entry 1123 JKC Covert 003G from Peterson Livestock and Clement Coat Ranch. Your intermediate champion yearling was entry 1144, Remital F Renown 312F, exhibited by Remital Farms and Fairland Cattle of Olds. Reserve intermediate yearling entry 1146, that's FF Capitalist F136, Lazy MC Angus of Bazano. And your senior yearling champion was Brooking Gold Coin 8069 from Brooking Angus Ranch and ZWT Ranch. That's entry 1149, all coming to you from Radville, Saskatchewan. Reserve senior champion yearling entry 1148, DMM Detail 34F from Miller Wilson Angus and Rocky Top Cattle Company of Bashaw. And our most recent declared division champion, senior champion bull entry 1152, DMM Crank 13E, exhibited by Miller Wilson Angus of Bashaw and Nelson Hershey Purebreds of Delbanita. And your reserve senior champion bull entry 1155, that's Arda L. Tigre 109E from Arda Farms, the Davis family at Acme. So now we're going to let our birthday boy official judge, Colton Hamilton, take some time. I see PJ Butler is down. I think it's time, PJ, to do a little bit of recognition globally. The 2018 Angus Champion of the World Competition took place from the 4th to the 1st to the 14th of December. The 7th edition of the competition featured 1,000 champion bulls and females from 77 countries around the world, representing 16 breeds of cattle. The judges for the 2018 competition were Lucas Lagrange from Argentina, Craig Gapes from Australia, Rosalie Goulding from Ireland, and Kyle Collier from USA. Of course, we call on good farm fair friend PJ Butler, Emily Lochner, Lee Stringham, and Miles Imaker to make the presentations. The 2018 Angus Miss South America is La Santina Zorzal Kika 209 TE from Uruguay. Receiving the banner, representing Cabana La Santina, is Marcos Reyes Gutierrez. 
Zorzal Kike 209 was the champion female at the 2018 Prado Show. Our 2018 Angus Miss Asia Africa is Mayanga Lady Louise L226 from Australia. Receiving a banner representing Beresford Angus is Alana Norris from Australia. Lady Louise qualified by winning the 2018 Sydney Royal Angus Show. You'll notice that we are getting official photos with show champions over in the corner of the ring. Next up, we have the 2018 Angus Miss Europe. Is Netherton Red Essence H483 from Spain. Receiving a banner representing Ganaderia Valadelivas. Is Shona McLaren from Netherton Angus of Scotland. I think Shona was here. Yes. 2018 Angus Miss North America is EXAR Princess 6680 from the U.S. Receiving a banner representing Ward Brothers Livestock of Plattsburgh, Missouri. EXAR Princess 6680 qualified by winning the Angus Show at the 2018 National Western Stock Show in Denver. Now, the Angus Miss World title was won by a Canadian in 2012, 13, 15, 16, and 17. In 2014, it was won by a Uruguayan female. The 2018 Angus Miss World winner from Plattsburgh, Missouri is EXAR Princess 6680. Receiving a banner and a buckle representing the Ward Brothers livestock is Carter Page. Folks, let's put our hands together for the Miss World Angus 2018. Now on to the bull side, the 2018 Angus Champion of South America is Trey Marias Don Emilio from Argentina. Receiving a ribbon and a certificate representing Cabana Trey Marias is Marco Reyes Gutierrez from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Don Emilio qualified by winning the 2018 Palermo Show. This is the second consecutive year that Don Emilio has won the Champion of South America Award. The 2018 Angus Champion of Asia Africa is PCH130 Kodiak M117 from Australia. Receiving a banner representing Pine Creek Angus is Chloe Yannick of Australia. Kodiak M117 qualified by winning the Sydney Royal Show in 2018. The Angus Champion of Europe is Donamus Edwin T659 from Germany. Receiving a banner representing Donamus Angus are Michael Dell of Germany and new owners of Edwin T659, Bogdan and Adriana Veres of Romania. The 2018 Angus Champion of North America is DMM International 54D from Canada. Receiving a banner representing Miller Wilson Angus are Lee and Don Wilson of Bashaw, Alberta. International 54D qualified by winning the 2018 Canadian Western Agribition in Regina. The Angus champion of the world title was won by a bull from Argentina in 2012 and 14 and a Canadian bull in 2013, 15, 16 and 17. The 2018 Angus champion of the world all the way down the road from Bashaw, Alberta, Canada was DMM International 54D. Receiving a buckle and banner representing Miller Wilson are Lee and Don Wilson. International 54D, as mentioned, is out of the 2016 Angus Miss World. The 2019 Angus champ, yeah, let's put our hands together, folks. Champion of the world. The 2019 Angus Champion of the World takes place from the 1st to the 14th of December. And the four official judges are Maria Matos of Uruguay, Willie de Jager of South Africa, John Elliott of Scotland, and Cole and Jill Harvey of Canada. Now, Col Colton Hamilton of Belvin Angus at Bowdoin, Alberta, Canada. Are you ready to give some comments on this impressive lineup in the champion drive of our Black Angus Bulls? 
Well, thank you, Tracy. Uh, I'm really extremely pleased with this group of bulls that we have out here. I think when we start with our youngest bull calf on through our senior bulls, I think you can see a lot of similarity um, in all of these divisions for what we're looking for today. Uh, I start with the ground and start with bulls that have some foot and some bone to them, bulls that have some natural muscling and red meat, uh, some rib and some